Hello, this is Hadi Lisha presenting an episode on a possible off-label application of a colonic stent. Uh, the reason why I like this stent, it's obviously self-expanding. Uh, it does have two edges that are five millimeters larger than the body of the stent. This is a 30 millimeter in diameter at the, at the distal edges and in the body it's 25 millimeters. Uh, the length of the stent is six centimeters and it also comes in a 10 centimeter stent. The way I see this being applied off-label in the vascular world, an unmet need is a superior vena cava and some inferior vena cava cases that are too large or uh, when there is a significant discrepancy in size and we are worried about uh, anchoring. Uh, there are some rare situations when we need it in the suprarenal inferior vena cava when it is severely uh, atretic. Um, the reason why I like this stent is that, of course, it's self-expanding. Um, it is stackable as much as it's like a supera stent. Basically, you can uh, deploy it in a stacked fashion, which increases its resistance to compression. As you can see here, when it's not stacked, the resistance to compression is quite low. And whenever it's stacked, the resistance to compression is significant. Uh, what makes it uh, different than a wall stent is those edges that uh, minimize the risk of embolization. That step up on the proximal and distal end is really nice um, in these kind of situations where we are worried about stem embolization or if there's a significant discrepancy in size. So this is the deployment system. It's a, a gun self-deployment uh, system that is 10 French compatible 035 with a 250 centimeter shaft, super long, obviously designed for the colon. But the reason why I really like this system is its flexibility. As you can see here, when you pull the trigger here, you, um, you can deploy the stent, so the stent self-expanding system. And as you see, there's a red marker here that moves along and gets to a point where it shows you where uh, the point of no return is. You can basically recapture the stent if you're not happy with your stacking. So all you have to do is push the button on this and you basically reverse the capture of the stent. Now you wanna deploy it again. You can uh, pull the trigger the same way and the stent will deploy. One of the nice features that I like about the system is you can adjust how long the stent is by pushing on the system while you're deploying versus releasing. So if you push hard on the system while you're deploying, you're going to be stacking the stent struts close to each other. If you release and you let it deploy, then you can allow it to deploy in a much longer fashion. So that uh, allows you to customize that depending on the patient's anatomy and getting the stent back. So this is the, uh, the way the stent is deployed in a stacked fashion. And this is the way it can be deployed as um, the operator sees is appropriate for the anatomy.